Thanks, uh, Shubhi. Thanks very much for the warm introduction. Uh, good afternoon to members of the media. Uh, yeah, this is the, the one press conference that I probably would love to skip. But for sure, I think uh, for, the, for the football fans, for the, for the football club, especially Mamelodi Sundowns, uh, and, and also because we are in that space where ours is to generate uh, conversations and, and, and um, lead in relation to what football is about in this country. I think it's important. So, so yeah. Um, yeah, exciting week, exciting preparations, and and we're looking forward to 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 playing against uh, a very good Orlando Pirates side. Um, can we get uh, a show of hands? Uh, questions from the floor. TT and who's next? Uh, Lola, TT and anyone else? Now we can set up one in the end. I'm trying to buy time. It's What's the, your birthday? No, no. The brother, I think. <laughs> the brother, yeah. I remember there's a nice. birthday. If you, can, if you can allow me to take it a little bit, then. Uh, sure. Okay. So if you be yourself, Mazola, then uh, check. Yeah. I'll just buy time for now to set up. Okay, I can rush it. Check. Go. Coach, congratulations on your win away. Sure, uh, thanks to you. Champions League. I mean, you, you went and, and gave them a 4-0 uh, away. If you can just take us back into that, um, looking into the match that you played, uh, Champions League, scoring so many goals, and the pressure that comes with playing two matches back-to-back -back with so many teams, one being the league and one being the, 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 the MTN8. Uh, how do you then focus focus on each one of these looking at the cramped that you have yeah the the on the champions league match um i was i was really very and i say this because and i always say to you guys uh, before i share my feelings with the media and the public i always share my feelings with my players they need to know my feelings first before anyone else and I can say to you that I was very, very impressed with the performance. I thought the application was very, very good. The, 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 some of the football that was played uh, made me very, very emotional, in fact. Uh, and I shared a story with the players, but I'm not going to share that with you. Um, but the the performance under the circumstances on an artificial pitch um, in that type of heat uh, against a very robust and very physical team with uh, with some very good players like uh, knowing that you have to deal with a striker like um, Valentin for an example or El Dino in the midfield who's creative and aggressive with the uh, with uh, the dribbles and the shots outside the, the box it was a very difficult game and a difficult uh, match to, to play as well as we played but uh, fortunately we had very good support from, from the Tanzanian people and, 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 and that gave us some very good confidence and motivation. Um, but my only disappointment is that we didn't score more. Um, the players know that I feel that we should have scored more, and and I only say that because we 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 created so many. I mean, there's a there's a chance I was speaking about even today. Uh, if you really remember, uh, where I, they 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 were inside the box, the players, and and they were just passing to each other. And I mean, I mean, four players could have taken the shot to score. And, and each one said, no, 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 you shoot. No, no, you shoot. No, no, you shoot. And we overpassed and, and eventually the chance was gone. So, so that was my only disappointment, but very proud of this group of players, very proud of their mentality. And it leads me to 
how, how do we prepare for these games? I don't have a lot of work to do, to tell you the truth, except to make sure that psychologically they understand the meaning of, of, of what it means to, to play the next fixture. And, and then rely on their experience, because uh, I am fortunate enough that I've got some very, very good human beings who have happened to be very good football players and who happen to be very experienced in understanding how to tackle a, a difficult program. And, and the most important thing is to play well every single match, uh, but take it one game at a time. But that also means prepare well and, and train well and make sure that you give your best every single day at training. They, at Sundown, unfortunately, you can't afford a day off, you know, so um, this is the mentality that the group uh, possesses and this is the mentality that the group uh, demonstrates and, and, and to be honest with you, that has very little to do with me. The yeah, no, it's one, one, game, one game at a time. They are tough games, uh, um, but, but our mentality is, is, is the next one is the most important one. Coach, Sure, Mazzola. Um, just your opinion on the opposition on Wednesday. How much do you think they altered the, the way they play or they improved since you last played them? I think there was a lot of fixtures between the two teams last season. Do you also feel maybe you, you have an edge of some sort um, given that the, I mean, there were thin margins in some matches and perhaps a dominant performance from and others. Yeah. It's a good question, uh, Mazola. I think first is uh, there's been big coaching improvement and you can see it with the team. There's, uh, there's uh, clarity in uh, some of the organizational forms. That, that is supported by what, when you look at the the numbers and the form in relation to how they've started. Uh, they've played nine matches. They've won six with two losses and, and one draw. They've scored 18 goals uh, with uh, Zakir Lepasa scoring 10 of those. And, and then, of course, moving into that space of of uh, being the first Pirates player to, to score 10 goals as quickly as, as he has. Uh, and they've conceded six. But that's not just the data that's, that's the most important because uh, that's, that's the data that, that, that profiles their form. What profiles their playing system is that they've averaged 60% ball possession, which means as compared to last season, uh, they keep more of the ball this season. They do play faster, uh, where they average about 20 seconds per, per possession spell. Uh, ours is a little bit more because we play a little bit uh, in moments and we have a different way of playing. Uh, they do create a lot of a lot of situations from crosses, like n averaging nine crosses per per match. They create about 13 chances per match and they've got an XG of 1.7 per match. And so already you can profile and see where the team is from an offensive perspective. Um, so for sure, there's been big improvements and um, we, we know that we will be playing against a, a very, very good team where a lot of detail, uh, small details will, will, make, will make the difference. Coach, um, it's here from you to see times. Six wins in the league, it's quite dominant already, five thousand. A win at Orlando Stadium, probably, if not the hardest game of the season, Will it stamp a psychological mark on the rest of the league to say it's it's game over. No, uh, for 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 two reasons. 
one, this is football. And football in its nature is an extremely unpredictable sport. And, and two, it's too early in the season. Uh, there's so many games to be played and against so many other teams and they are going to be even more difficult. So uh, we, go, we go to Orlando with the mentality of knowing for sure that it's a difficult game, but we know we've played even more difficult games. Like we've gone to Morocco and we've played difficult matches. We've gone to Algeria and played Beluistad and we've, we've had difficult games. We've gone to Cairo and we've played difficult games. We've gone to the same Orlando and we've played difficult games. And so we trust ourselves to be able to, to, be able to, to put on a good performance and that's the starting point that is our focus is we know we have to play well to give ourselves a chance to, to beat Orlando Pirates. But it's one of the 30 games that we are going to have to play uh, this season and it, 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 it on its own has no sp special uh, specialness to it except to say it's one of the 30 games that we are going to have to play. Good afternoon, Carl. I want to take you back so that we go forward. Sure. Uh, last season, when you knocked out in the Champions League, when I gave it, we thought you should have won. Yeah. Uh, you, you show so much love, more than anything, to your players. Yeah. It seems like you know, you use one of the top, top aspects of top coaches in world football where you love players more yeah. when they lose. Why is that? What does it do for the players and what does it do in regards to your relationship going to the game up against Paris because of the attachment that you also have with one of the Pirates, if I may say? Well, I think I, uh, I think I just try to accept and understand that first, before anything else, the football players are human beings before before being athletes. I think that's always my starting point. We are different as coaches. There are coaches that love winning more than anything else. There are coaches that love press conferences more than anything else. There are play coaches that love scouting and recruiting players more than anything else. My passion for coaching is derived from working with players and seeing players improve. And uh, part to that is, is also establishing a very authentic and genuine emotional attachment where I try to be available for the players even beyond the football field. Uh, but at the same time, it's, it's, not, it's not so easy because I deal with different human beings and I deal with top football players who also all want to play and know that they are good enough to be playing. And, uh, but, but for sure, in, 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 in our relationships, they, they also trust and respect me and my position as the coach but they also understand that it goes beyond just player coach we've also got a brotherhood and a and a and a, and a family bond because for me it goes beyond coaching it goes beyond football we are, we are only football coaches or football players for two hours three hours per per day for the rest of 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 the 24 hours we are we are reintegrated into society. And then the biggest question is what type of people are we in society? What type of influence do we have within society? And I try by, by all means to, to be the type of person that they would love to have as their coach, but also to love to have as their friend even in many, many, many more years to come. And that's the that's my way of working what is also very evident is that true and and true and genuine friends are also not afraid to tell each other the truth and they are also not afraid to tell each other things that they may not want to hear and this is the basis of of my relationship with with the players they know how how honest we have to be with each other 
but also the one the one big benefit is is how much I learn from them. I learn I learn so much from the Sundowns players. They they are human qualities. I've I must tell you I I every single day I look forward to coming to work because I look forward to 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 seeing a Musa for an example and I mean I mean I had a small chat that is very private between Musa and I after the game in uh, Tanzania now uh, after an incredible performance and it had nothing to do with football but it's a chat that came because of an experience that has that happened maybe last season or a season before that a season two seasons yeah, two seasons ago, two seasons ago yeah. that was very emotional for both of us uh, but but these are the things you know we try to establish these relations and we try to be honest with each other and and uh, but but the biggest part is that i i learned so much i learned because even from that discussion i had with musa on 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 friday my biggest takeout was how important perseverance and, and and bravery and character and not giving up which is something that musa demonstrated uh, these were the things that i learned and i took into 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 my own space into my own life so that my life gets better so they make me a better coach but more than that they make me a better human being Coach, my question is similar to the previous question. You have the the biggest assembly of galaxy of stars. As a sort of final from a psychological point, how do you maintain the tonality of the speech that you have which is with different characters? I just happen to to coach good human beings. I, I think that's the only way I can put it. I think I just think they are good human beings, and they are uh, they are a pleasure to work with. Um, I am very demanding. Uh, I am <coughs> I am very relentless. I put a lot of pressure. I am very obsessive. Uh, but they deal with me. And and they deal with me because they are good people, and and I I can I can only answer your question by giving that uh, statement of saying I'm just privileged to be in a position where I work with very good human beings. Um, coach, can you be uh, more pleasantly surprised by Lucas Abino, the way he has traumatized to our football, and also can you just feel us in as to what makes this guy tick? Am I am I pleasantly surprised? No, uh, because because there was a lot of work done behind the scenes from uh, the scouting department, the data department, uh, Ryan Hunt, Fleming Berg with the sporting director. There was a lot of work done there. There was a lot of work done in the office by uh, Yugesh Singh, who had to travel even to Brazil, and so the club made a very extensive efforts to 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 do that. Um, I spent a lot of time watching Lucas, and I watched Lucas play in a in a different position to what he is playing now. And but I was very clear from day one when he arrived, even to the players, they will tell you of some of the qualities that I had identified from Lucas that I felt that the team needed. And uh, and then there were also some areas that uh, he he has had to improve and work on to be able to fit within the model. What I can say to you is that he has worked very, very hard to gain the trust of his teammates because I get the feeling when he plays in, in a training and in in around the the premises and in the facility that the his teammates trust him and that thing is very very important for a player arriving within the group and 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 it's because of the the work and his humility and his personality as a good human being because because also above the fact that we try to recruit some of the best players one of the other things is we try to recruit the best players who happen to have 
the human qualities that uh, we think are needed to work with us and to be in this organization. Uh, he, Lucas has qualities that you can't coach as uh, a coach, you can't improve. They are there and, and, and they are there because they are God given. He is Brazilian and a lot of people, uh, a lot of people don't understand when I, when, I, when I say to people that there's a difference between skill and flair. And, and, and a lot of South American players have flair. And you see it sometimes with, with Lucas, you see flair. You, and it's things that you see with Neymar, for an example. You, you've seen with Robinho, for an example. Uh, and it's not skill, but it's flair. It's a, there's an element of elegance, uh, and, and he possesses that. And, um, but I also still think there's a lot of room for your improvement, uh, like with all the players at Sundowns. All the players at Sundowns know that we sit for corrections. We sit every day. We, I watch training. We sit here. We have corrections of training sessions. We have corrections of matches. Uh, we even correct small things like body language. Uh, uh, we, we, it's, it's crazy. But that's the space we operate in. We are, we are, we are in that space, and and uh, I think I think I think there's still more t- for 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 Lucas, just like I think there's still more from Lisiba Banku. A lot of people when we signed Lisiba said Lisiba is not Sundown's material, but Lisiba has gone on to show that he has the qualities, and 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 we've done extensive work also. Mendieta is improving and getting there, and 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 he will also come into that space. Uh, Obas is is a player that has incredible qualities, and I think, I think even qualities that have not even been tapped into, uh, qualities like driving with the ball, and and these and and and, and you look in, in 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 the modern game now in in the midfield, the the prototype of midfielders that that uh, Jude Bellingham last night I was watching Real Madrid Jude, Jude Bellingham and the role that he plays for Real Madrid you watch Arsenal and you watch the role that the Declan Rice plays for 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 Arsenal uh, the the versatility and the aggression on the ball of a, t- a player like Thomas Partey for an example a Kovacic and his ability to run and drive uh, in the midfield and I think Obas has got these qualities uh, but it's qualities that he he's not even aware that he's got, and so there's still quite so many things that we 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 are trying to 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 teach and to improve and to help. So so you've got to be patient with these players. Uh, Maseko uh, is is some is the same. Maseko has qualities that you can never ever 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 take responsibility as a coach to say you helped him to have this. But for sure there are things for, from Maseko's game that that we would like to improve. And every single day we try to, 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 to come with clips from Arsenal and from Man City and from uh, what, what, Napoli. Uh, Brighton now is, is one of the things that we are so obsessed about in this team. And to try to show some of the players because, because that's, as, as I said, even to Karabo's uh, question, my job and my my happiness de- derives from seeing players improve. That's that's one thing that makes me very happy is seeing a player come from here to here. And I'll make a small example, and maybe because Musa is here. On the day of the match, I w- we were doing corrections with Musa, and I and 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 there was a situation against. I'm not so sure. Oh, it was a friendly against Sikukune where I felt Musa could, could have blocked a shot. And, and I made reference to, to how David Luiz, uh, Ricardo Carvalho uh, defend in those type of situations. And, and in the game in, in Tanzania, there was a similar situation and then Musa blocked the shot the same way we had spoken about in, 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 in the morning. Uh, and I... I, I celebrated that moment m- probably more than I celebrated some of the goals that we scored. Because for me, the, the, these are the things that make me happy. These are the, the, the things that, 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 that give me 
real, 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 real pleasure. And maybe it's because I was a youth coach and my background is that of a youth coach where I've coached a lot of players and I've seen them grow and develop and become better and better and better. And, and I think my happiness, um, of course, I know that at Sundowns in this space, we have to win trophies. Uh, but but over and above that, when I see them improving, not only as football players but also as human beings, that that makes me very very happy. Marcelo. Was from the coach. Yeah. Yeah. It's just as we coach. It's a very rare occasion in South African football where you will see Mamelo Sundowns come up against. Not big to, uh, within the space of a week, uh, aside from last season's Cup, of course. Yeah. But how, how do you confront a week like this where you face these two your traditional big clubs in the country um, and beating both of them in the same week would obviously be a massive boost for you guys and, and sort of solidify your status as you know, the uh, elite club in, in South African football. Uh, is, is that something you, you know, psychologically and you did speak about you know, psychological management of the players. I mean, they've got the ability to win games, but you, your job is more psychological. How do you, you know, confront this week in that context where you face Pirates, which that result could also add context to, to how you go into to Saturday's Master Cup clash against Chiefs? Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good question, uh, Chad. Uh, um, my answer to that is maybe two pronged. One is to is to say, as I as I said earlier, we approach every single game one game at a time. So 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 for us, we are not even. In, I I shouldn't I shouldn't say this because I'm 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 then I'm not really being 100 percent honest because I said to the players already that I've started watching Chiefs. Uh, I, I said to them this morning and I confessed to them because how, of how tight the schedule is. So, so, so because I feel some of the homework with Pirates, seven games, six, seven games now is, 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 is done now, is to move a little bit to that, but I can't shift my focus from that. I've got to go 100% with the players uh, into the next one. And so the next one is the most important one. It needs all our energies, all our focus, and everything that we have is galvanized towards Wednesday's game. And, 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 and there are no thoughts about what will happen on, uh, on, uh, on Saturday. But what it is, is that it is a very good test for us. This week is a very, very good test for us, where we anticipate that as we get on with the season, we will get into a space where we have to play semi-finals, quarter-finals, finals, uh, league title deciders in the same week, and 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 matches that are of consequence in 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 the business end of the season, and and you've seen this with some of the biggest teams in uh, in in Europe. You've seen how a Man City has had to play a championship decider while also having to prepare for a semi final against Real Madrid, or or preparing for the final against Inter Milan. This is the space that, that, that uh, the big teams with the big players and, and the top players have a challenge with, and it is a challenge that they accept. And uh, the harder it is, the better it is for us, because then it, it makes us improve and become a better team. So, so we're looking forward to it, and um, we know how difficult it's going to be, but I think we love it when it's that difficult. Thank you. We can move on to one more.